I can't believe it worked, guys. We got the mill. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today. Uh, just wanted to let everybody know if you are not already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video if you happen to enjoy it. It really would mean a lot to us. It helps us out with the algorithm. I've also noticed a lot of you guys are not subscribed, so take the opportunity, do it now. If you like the channel, it does mean a lot to us, but on top of that, you are entered to win a free Kamigawa Neon Dynasty draft booster on February 23rd if you subscribe now. So please make sure you do so. It would really mean a lot. But let's check out today's deck. So we've got a little bit of an is it mill deck today, uh, which is a bit of an odd one, I understand. But uh, hear me out on this one. I, I was doing a little bit of searching on Aetherhub. I found a number of different is it mill decks that I thought, man, I, I kind of want to give it a shot. I want to see what I can build. So I'm not sold on this. I'm just gonna go ahead and say I played one game, I did win said game, but I am not sold on the list as it stands. However, I am trying, <clears throat> excuse me, quite a number of cards in this list that I think have some viability to it. So the idea, the basic idea is obviously to mill the opponent out with things like Ruin Crab, with the Tasha's Hideous Laughter, and with Maddening Cacophony. Those are the obvious includes. We knew those would be there, but what if we were to double up on those spells? What if we were to use things like Dual Strike or Galvanic Iteration, things that we can double up on these spells, hopefully get a little bit of extra longevity out of them, and uh, hopefully mill the opponent out even quicker. So the idea is to double up on things like Maddening Cacophony and Tasha's Hidden Hideous Laughter with these cards. But on top of that, what if we were able to replay them? What if we could continuously play these cards from the graveyard just because we've already got them there, because we've got Leer on the field. So Disciple of the Drowned, obviously a, a really awesome card, but it also says spells can't be countered, which is important because it keeps our uh, little combo here of Dual Strike or Galvanic Iteration plus a Mill spell um, a little bit safer. It keeps us a little bit safer and it just allows us to replay them. So we've got this in here. We're hopefully going to be able to go off with it. I don't know for sure that it'll happen, but that's the dream. Uh, now to help get us there, uh, we have a number of different things. So, uh, fading hope is here. This is just going to allow us to bounce and slow down the opponent. Nothing too spectacular, but it also allows us to bounce our own ruin crab. If we happen to find ourselves in a position where that might be advantageous or even the leer. Uh, so just to save some things, we've got a couple of those in there. You'll notice we've got a number of two ofs and kind of three ofs and odd numbers. That's just because we're kind of trying some stuff out. Uh, Jawari Disruption, just as a two of, I don't like having too many of these because they're not great as counter spells, but a well-timed Jawari Disruption is really crushing for the opponent. So I wanted to have a couple of these in here. It also helps smooth out our land drops. Uh, we do have expressive iteration. There's going to be an opportunity to hopefully uh, dig a little bit deeper into our deck, see three cards for only two mana, which is a pretty good value as well, and hopefully get to the things that we need. Prismari Command playing a similar role, allowing us to draw two cards, then discard two cards. Remember, it's kind of okay if we discard two cards because we've got the Leer, so we're able to bring those back. We also can create treasure tokens, deal two damage, or destroy an artifact, depending on what we need in any given situation. Uh, Demon Bolt, just a little bit of like point and shoot removal. Uh, I understand that Demon Bolt isn't the most efficient, but instant speed for mana or for damage to a creature or planeswalker, very relevant. We can also foretell it as well, so very, very helpful. We do have Crush the Weak for any kind of uh, like pest deck or anything that's going really, really wide, uh, Scoot Swarm, things like that. Crush the Weak is really good for that, so we're hopefully going to be able to, to, to manage the board fairly well. And then on top of that, because I'm terrified of just really big, wide boards, things like Mono White going ham, uh, I've got Burn Down the House as a way to deal 5 damage to each creature and each Planeswalker. Now keep in mind here, these Dual Strikes and Galvanic Iterations, we'd like to use them for our mill spells, but keep in mind, we can use them for anything. Uh, any of our instants and sorceries we can double up on, so if we find ourselves in a position where it makes sense to do so, we'll certainly make that call. But 
All of that to say, there's a lot of like board sweepy kind of things in this list to help us stay in the game as long as possible. We do have Hall of the Storm Giants and Den of the Bugbear. These are just alternative win conditions, which is very important for the deck. And then of course, two Field of Ruin to deal with man lands, deal with uh, any kind of, any specific lands that we find ourselves running into, but it also helps of course with the Ruin Crab. So all that to say, this is a test deck. We're just going to see how it, how it does. This is my own version of it. Uh, there are a number of different versions of it on Aether Hub and even on, you know, YouTube, whatever. Go check them out. Go see what you think of those. But let's jump right in, guys. Let's see how it does. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. And this is a sketchy, sketchy hand. <laughs> uh, there is no doubt about that. Um, however, we do have some some interesting stuff here with the dual strike and the demon bolt and I kind of want to give that a shot. Um, if we draw a blue land, we're okay because of the fading hopes. Uh, this is a removal heavy hand, obviously, um, or at least a, a tempo heavy hand. So we could consider keeping it. This is a bad hand. Like you shouldn't keep this, but I kind of want to try it. Um, we're going to do it. Screw it. We're here to have fun. We're here to learn. Why not have some fun with it? Uh, this may not work out at all. <laughs> this may be an instant loss. Uh, okay, less of an instant loss now. Um, I guess let's go ahead and lead on that. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, had a cough there. Sorry, guys. Uh, interesting. Okay. So let's throw this out there. Um, now we've got some options. So we can wait and just potentially bounce this. Uh, hmm. See, uh, if a player casts no spells during their turn, it becomes next. Okay. Mm. Part of me does want to proactively bounce this, uh, and I think I will here. We just, we gotta slow them down a little bit. Land on the top is, like, perfect, uh, because that does allow for Tasha's Hideous Laughter or, you know, a Fortel plus a Fading Hope. Um, so that's, that's actually really solid. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so, um... I think what we'll do is foretell this and then again proactively bounce the auger. Uh, do you want to keep this? Yeah, I think so. We're kind of getting to the point where we can uh, kick or we're hoping to kick the uh, Maddening Cacophony. If we dual strike and kick the Maddening Cacophony, we're golden. Um, all right, let's get that out. Um, so we can foretell this and then Maddening Cacophony. Alternatively, we can Dual Strike and Tasha's Hideous Laughter, which seems quite good as well. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go that route. Uh, let's do it. We're gonna double this and uh, mill quite a number of cards here. <laughs> um, down to 17 cards in the deck. Pretty good. <laughs> Uh, now keep in mind we have done nothing to control the board really, we've just bounced a few things. Um, but we do have a demon bolt here, so that's possible. It'd be great to draw a Leer. Um, and we have been proactive about playing spells on our turn, which does help kind of keep things under, under wraps here uh, a little bit. So we can crush the weak, uh, which would deal with at least two of their permanents. Uh, now we can't demon bolt on top of that, but I think we can just wait on the demon bolt. So let's get two of their creatures out of there. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to Maddening Cacophony here for eight. That's half their deck anyway. <laughs> uh, and so at that point, I think that that's just worth it. Um, now we are running out of gas here, so we may not get there, but they've only got five cards left in their deck. So if we can make it five turns, we're actually okay. <laughs> Um, I would love to be able to kill this. Um, there's a Ruin Crab. That is honestly helpful because it saves us a little bit of uh, of time. If nothing else, like we could just block with it. And I think we'll just wait on the Demon Bolt. We don't actually have to proactively kill this, uh, at least not yet. They've gotten a Braid. Okay. I think again, we can still just wait with the Demon Bolt, see what happens. Um, we'll, we'll hopefully uh, finish something off here. We'll pass. Curious to see how this goes. Um, I'm going to take the two. We're kind of getting down to it, though. We have to be very careful here. Um, and we'll see what the opponent decides to do. It looks like they're not going to do anything. Uh, so I'm going to take the opportunity to go ahead and kill this auger. 
Uh, there's a Field of Ruin. Not super helpful at the moment, to be honest, but again, they're down to three cards in their deck, and this isn't dealing damage right away, so there is there is a chance. This is going to deal a lot of damage, though. Uh, the boast is quite powerful on this. Now, keep in mind, though, they've only got so many... Oh, man. Um, all right, well, here's to hoping we can make it, what, two more turns? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we're not doing so hot, though. I did. I will say though, the dual strike into the hideous laughter was fantastic. So I'm very happy with that. Um, that worked out perfectly. They might be just super flooded here. Oh, we did it! I can't believe it worked, guys. We got the mill the first game. That was perfect. All right, and we ranked up, dude. We're plat four. We're amazing. All right, let's jump into uh, game two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. And similarly to last time, we have a lot of red here and we really can't keep that. Uh, not with a hand like this. Now, last game we had some outs, but this time we just don't. Wow, we are really hitting the reds here. Uh, all right, we are going to keep these five. We'll throw you back. I don't particularly want to throw any of these back, but I think we throw the red source back here. Um, we'll play the hall. And we will go ahead and throw out that Ruin Crab. We can play the River Glide Pathway on red. Uh, so we've got both of our colors of mana, of course. And then hope for the best off the top, because that's about all we can do. <laughs> uh, we do get a little sneak peek here of what the opponent's trying to do. It looks like a uh, Rakdos Treasure deck, which is a little scary. And they even get that out of the deal. Ooh. Okay. This is going to be tough. This is going to be very, very tough. We would really love a land off the top just to allow us that Prismari command here. Uh, and hopefully we can make something happen. Now, this is going to attack him. We are not going to block it. They sacrifice that. That's fine. Um, all right. I uh, can't do much about that. We have to just go ahead and foretell that, which isn't bad. I mean, right, like that sets us up for some future turns. But the reality is we just don't have enough lands. So we really, really need to uh, keep going with this. Maybe the maybe we should have sent something else back. Um, I feel like everything we had in our hand, though, was semi useful. So interesting that they're just like annihilating us with these little vampires. That's kind of funny. Um, I like this little tactic though that's kind of cool um <laughs> uh again these are just really unfortunate opening hands we just had no but we didn't have both colors of mana uh and so i think it was smart to mulligan in the reality but it just isn't working um <laughs> which is fine uh we'll see what we can do here uh and truth be told mill against a deck like Hungry for more, uh, or with Hungry for more, isn't exactly ideal anyway. Uh, looks like they are going to attack in. I'll block. They might be, you know, representing something here, but I don't think we can take the risk. We have to play very, very safe here. Uh, okay. That doesn't, I mean, that's fine. Um, I mean, good, smart of them to attack in. Uh, it does kind of give us something to think about, but didn't really do that much. Okay, they have a frostbite, sure. You got it. Uh, that makes sense. They were going to kill that anyway, though, so I'm glad we uh, blocked. I mean, it's a land. I will take it. Um, I think we just have to pass, though. We can Prismari Command to draw into more stuff, so that can very well be the, the play here, uh, or could very well be the play. We just need more lands, so if we can get a Leer down, we might be able to get something. I really wish we had had Tasha's Laughter on against these Hungry for Mores. So that would have been a lot more helpful than uh, Maddening Cacophony, but I guess we couldn't have played it, so we will see. Um, Prismari Command can deal with one of these tokens as we need to. Alternatively, though, it could just throw out a treasure token, which doesn't seem like a bad idea. Um, and I think we may go that route versus uh, the other way, just so we can ramp into the Leer, because I do think that's going to be very necessary. Um, do we know... They do have Infernal Grasp in the deck. 
Um, something to think about. We we can just be running into a kill spell. I'm just gonna take it. Uh, I don't love it. I don't want to just take it, but I think we kind of have to. Their life total, keep in mind, doesn't really matter against our deck. We're not in any position to care about that. Um, okay, I'm really glad we didn't just try and kill that thing, because that wouldn't have gone super well for us. Uh, let's do this. Um, we'll target ourselves, target ourselves. All right. Two lands off the top. That's actually very good. Um, I think we throw one of them back. Uh, and now we've got the treasure token here. That does allow us to get Leer down. Uh, so that's something. But they, of course, have plenty of treasure tokens here, which is not good for us. Maddening Cacophony. Um... Now look, <laughs> uh, I mean, we don't, but we could, we could. Um, I think that's not the play though. I think the play is definitely just to throw Leer out and hope for the best. <coughs> Excuse me. This isn't great um, because again, they could very easily just have a kill spell here. It's our highest value play though. Uh, they can easy Infernal Grasp this, but we have to try. Uh, if they can Infernal Grasp, I think they would have off of their treasure tokens, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, the good news is this does block these little guys, um, but not in great shape here. Just the reality of it. Um, oh, interesting. Okay, uh, yeah. Then they get to play the Infernal Grasp, I believe. Oh, they just get to gain control of it. Um, well, that's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we kind of set ourselves up for that one. Uh, didn't really think about Bloodthirsty Adversary, but that is a fantastic card for them. Um, can they kill us this turn? No, but they can get dangerously close. Uh, they could have played one of these and gotten us really far down um, that we were dead basically next turn. Now, my assumption is they might just Infernal Grasp on the Leer now. Um, they're just going to play with fire. Oh, then they could have killed us. Yeah, they definitely could have killed us. That was a mistake. They missed lethal. Um, I get why they did this, but they definitely could have just killed us. If they had played a Hungry for more and then just used their last treasure to uh, to shoot us with the uh, play with fire, they would have won. Which is fine. I mean, I get it. I miss lethal all the time. Um, how many cards do they have left? Eight. Uh, yep, nothing for it. We're just going to do this. Um, sucks, but it is what it is. This guy has haste. They also just have things in their graveyard that are going to solve this problem for them, but it's all good. Uh, regardless, we are getting them down pretty low here. We're going to mill 16 cards. We have them down to 14, I guess. Plus, no, yeah, 14, and then they draw a card, so down to 13. I mean, that's not terrible. We just were stuck on lands. I mean, that's just the reality of it. I don't know why the opponent is... Uh, is thinking so hard here. It's not really like they won. <laughs> um, are they just upset by this? Maybe they'll maybe they'll concede out of hate. That's my only hope. I don't. I mean, I think they're just pissed off, but we don't win. Not really sure why. Maybe they're reading this wrong and thinking that we're just milling their entire deck. This doesn't work, by the way. If you dual strike this, it's half of the half. So, like, you can't just completely mill somebody out with this. Um, though it would be awesome. <laughs> but you just can't. Alright. So now we can Fading Hope this, but they still just kill us. Because they've got the tokens. Um, yeah, uh, it is what it is. It was a fun one. It was a really fun one. Uh, this is a cool deck that the opponent has. The Hungry for More, I have not seen. On the ladder, I have not seen this. Uh, so that's actually kind of cool to see something a little bit different here. Um, 
my only hope. Uh, all right, there we go. That's the good game. I'm gonna go ahead and concede. My only hope was to Fading Hope if they didn't play another creature, but obviously they were going to, so that is fine. Let's jump into a game three right now. All right, guys, here we are. This is probably going to be our last game, but this is actually a pretty okay start. We've got Fading Hope with Maddening Cacophony and a Leer, so I am easy keeping this. Um, we'll probably just lead on the Snarl. Uh, it just kind of makes the most sense and hope for the best. Uh, we've got all the mana we need, uh, aside from, I guess, one more, but we're kind of set up for this one uh, a little bit better than we were, at least in the last game. All right, more and more land. Uh, the question is, do we Maddening Cacophony? I actually think we can wait. <clears throat> Maybe we shouldn't, I don't know, but I, I feel like we're not in a huge rush. Okay, now we're just drawing all the land. Uh, all the land in the world. Sorry for the dog barking. She's literally here, like under my feet. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. This is a little bit of a desperation play so we can, yes, get a, uh, just any card off the top, um, cause that was kind of important for us. Let's go ahead and lift laughter here. <clears throat> okay, uh, wow, we hit some... Is this just Demir Super Friends? Uh, that's kind of sick. Alright, um... I'm gonna throw this. What this does is keep them from being able to counter stuff. Um, and if they have a Meat Hook Massacre, which we know they have in their deck, because it's literally here, um, it's not gonna be great yet uh and this allows us to replay the laughter and personally i'd rather have the laughter exiling stuff against a deck like this because you never know there might be recursion in it and i'm not particularly interested in dealing with that uh we can also next turn just kicker the maddening cacophony uh we're one mana away so worst case scenario they deal with leer but then leave us open for the maddening cacophony which is quite helpful um I wish we had been able to leave up a single mana uh, so we could protect the Leer with the Fading Hope, but it's all good. Can't do it. So we're going to work on this as best we can. At the very least, this keeps things from being countered, which is, I think, on its own quite worth it. All right. Um, we can Laughter again, um, which would exile more cards, which I do like. Or we can Maddening Cacophony, which I think is just the correct play. Um, Again, we can't protect the Leer, but they didn't do anything last turn, and they also can't counter stuff right now. Um, so I feel like this is the correct play. Now, if they kill Leer, then counter. I mean, that's just smart, but... All right, they're going to Deadly Dispute. That's fine. It's not good, but it's fine. They might have an Alron's Epiphany or something along those lines, or just a big Planeswalker play. I mean, it could be a lot of stuff here. Uh, but Maddening Cacophony is still pretty powerful. Um, technically, them drawing cards makes it a little worse, because it's now milling less than... Wow, they are just going ham with these draws, aren't they? That's cool. Wow, okay. Uh, well, we still milled a lot of their deck, so, you know, that's good. Um, yeah, I like that. <laughs> We do have the Demon Bolt in hand as well, so if they happen to draw a Planeswalker, chances are we'll be able to kill it, um, which is useful. I mean, feeling okay? We can Maddening Cacophony with the Laughter next turn. All right, totally expected that. That's annoying, but fine, um, because that might be all they do this turn. Please just don't have Infernal Grasp. Do we know if they have Infernal Grasp? I haven't seen it. Destroy target creature. They have Grim Bounty. Why Grim Bounty? It creates a treasure token, sure, but that seems really expensive. Um, doesn't seem great. Okay. They do have Feed the Swarm. That's fine. I mean, it's annoying, but that's fine. Now we're back to just having Demon Bolt, which is a scary place to be, and now they get to Alron's Epiphany again. You got it. 
Um, we do have cards in our deck for this specific, like, scenario. Crush the Weak is what, an example of that. Um, and so we do have a way out of this. In fact, more than one way. Burn Down the House also would solve that problem. Um, so we've got options here uh, for the draw. Demon Bolt is really just point and shoot, though, so we're kind of just out of luck at the moment. Um, but, but, we will see. All right, so they pulled a Field of Ruin off the top. That's not the end of the world for us, so that's fine. In fact, I wouldn't mind them just going ahead and doing it so we can deck them a little bit. <laughs> Gonna take four here from the birds. Uh, again, that's fine. It is what it is. And a land. Just go ahead and foretell that just to save it. Um, not gonna use it against a bird token. I, I mean, come on. What do you take me for? <laughs> uh, I feel this game slipping away. Um, we do have outs, of course, but... And we've milled a lot of cards. Um, like, really a lot of cards. They're down to 19 in their deck, so... I mean, I feel like we've done our job as best we can here. I don't think we've misplayed so heavily. I would have loved to have left up a mana for the Fading Hope on the Leer, but we just couldn't. Um, and I think we were doing the right thing by milling, so I don't feel like we misplayed. Um, maybe we did. I don't know. Maybe you disagree. Feel free to tell me. Um, there's Burn Down the House. Now, crucially, though, they can counter... I think we go for it though. It's such an overkill. <laughs> uh, five damage. Here. Hmm. All right, so my assumption is they're gonna counter. Uh, I imagine this is a saw it coming. Oh, it's test of talents. Okay. Or that's test of talents. That's fine. Um, again, we have multiple iterations for that, so. That's part of why having like Crush the Weak and Burn Down the House is so important. Because Test of Talents is in the meta, you, you really can't just rely on a single card. Uh, for a deck like this, it's very important to have both, uh, or at least just two options. I uh, wonder what they stole here. Yep, it is what it is think we're gonna die. Uh, and unfortunately, it's gonna be a bit of a slower death because well, maybe not, actually. We're kind of getting down to it. They've got four damage on the field and most likely a grip full of things that can deal with whatever we've got coming down. So I think our only shot is to draw a second Leer. Another Leer would be amazing because it says spells can't be countered. So um, that would be helpful because we'd get a free turn off. We can play one of these two. Um, one, two, three, four, five should probably go for the laughter in that instance um and uh hope for the best or i guess the maddening cacophony for eight and then lead fading hope up that could be an option okay so we do get to kill this potentially here uh depends on how they or, or what they have left up this might also just eat a uh, counter spell which would be quite helpful, but they're going to finish off the game quite quickly here, I think. So uh, that's that's fine. Demon Bolt quite good, though. I mean, it does get rid of the Lolf. Um, so definitely a helpful card. But we are taking four. <laughs> so. All right, give me a Leer off the top. That's uh, not a Leer. Uh, let's express a iteration. See what we get. Um, but I, I think the writing's on the wall here. They're gonna counter it. All right, well done, opponent. They definitely just have it here, so we're gonna go ahead and concede, and let's let's chat about this deck. Okay, so uh, we went one and two. Not a great record, I know, uh, but again, this was a test deck. This wasn't necessarily meant to be like a, a new standard monster or anything like that. Uh, it did work out okay. In game one, we did really well, and we still milled a lot in the other games, so like we still did what we were trying to do, we just kind of burnt out, uh, so maybe it's just a calibration issue. Maybe we need to take out just one or two lands. I could do a lot of different stuff, but all that to say, 
I really love Mildex, and so it was really fun to play a different version. You know, normally we see Demir Mill uh, a lot. We've got Rogue's Mill, we even just have like basic Demir Control Mill. Uh, in fact, we played a list like that very recently. And all of that's really fun, but trying something a bit different, something that controls the board very well with all of the burn spells, all of the, the removal that you get from red is actually really fun. So I enjoyed this a lot. Uh, I would highly suggest trying it out, maybe tweaking it a little bit and seeing what you can do with it, but I, I enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you loved it. If you did, leave a like on the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You are entered to win the giveaway if you subscribe. It's a free draft booster box, a full draft booster box. Who doesn't want free cards? So please make sure you subscribe guys, but thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. I'll see you again very soon.